Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Zen. Y'all gotta excuse me, I was putting some hair spritz, so, and I'm not changing my shirt, so fuck it. All right, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. All right. <laughs> All right, so, all right, let's get into it. So, Spirit wants me to uh, change directions today. It wants me to speak about love, okay? So, you guys are getting ready to come upon a, a, a really, <laughs> like, that's how it feels. It feels very, um, very wholesome, um, uh, I'm hearing always and forever. Like it's 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 a deep type of love. Um I can't put it into words. <laughs> I can't put it into words. We have the page of cups here, okay? Happy news. Um, this is going to crush you. It's going to be someone that you least expect. Someone that you may not even think about to give a chance could be interracial okay excuse me could be interracial eight of swords Okay, so we'll talk about the Eight of Swords. You may feel trapped. You may feel like you have given, you know, um, your ethnicity, your race, uh, ample chances, opportunities. And you feel that every time you date someone, um, so it could be of your race, white, black, Asian, however, whatever, 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 or ethnicity, okay? But you... You're, you you feel like you you're tired or you feel like you you're trapped. It's like um, you wanted to explore more um, in regards to love. So you've been dating the same type of individuals for a very long time, and you're realizing there's a pattern there. So you want to step outside of that pattern. And you want to do something different here, and this is with the Eight of Swords here. You feel very trapped. Okay. Um, now, from your perspective, okay, you could be stereotyping. Okay, it can, it can come off as stereotyping here in regards to how you view one race, one set of race, one ethnicity here. Okay. Um, but I just keep hearing, I'm fucking tired. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. Oh, and hey, I listen, I'm just I'm just the messenger. All right. So we have the five of swords and the seven of pentacles. Yeah. So someone is tired of a certain race that they're dealing with, they're dating. You know, and they just keep receiving the same type of outcome. Very, uh, I'm hearing dire and gruesome. Okay. Um, yeah, th this person feels or you feel like the race that you have, that you have dated or entertained is very structured. It's very controlled. It's like, you don't feel free. You don't feel like your free spirit itself. So yeah, you're open. You're open to, um, wow. Okay. Well, you're open to dating outside of your race. All right, could be the privileged lady, privileged man, take a high resonates here, but something's coming in quick. So I feel like when you switch, yeah, seven of cups, many other options are going to come in here, okay? And it's like, uh, um, Spirit is saying it's going to be like a dating shock, a, like a cultural dating shock, because once you, um, and I do feel like you're going to, you know, be open to other opportunities here or options. Is going to change your perspective, your perspective on love. <laughs> it really is here. Yeah, you're just tired of the same old, same old. From you know, you're just tired. And okay, you are entitled to feel that way, King of Cups, and you want somebody to match you, to match your compassion, your love, your deep love. You know what I mean? And you will with the Four of Wands. You sure will with the Four of Wands here. All right. Yeah. Okay, you feel like you sacrificed enough and the sacrifice that you made, it didn't really brought you back a um, you know, a positive outcome. So yeah, you're really, you know, you're, it could be in despair or losing, dis you, you, you're feeling discouraged. 
um, in regards to the um, the individuals that you may have dated in the past here. And we have the three of cups here. So yeah, you feel, you feel slighted, you feel betrayed by, you know, about the race that you were dealing with, okay? But um, yeah, so... <laughs> Tell me more about the four of wands, the love celebration. Yeah, marriage is coming. Yeah. Okay. What else? We have the Hierophant and the Strength card. So yeah, new approach, new new perspective. So I feel like you feel a certain race is weak. They don't lack security. They lack insecurity. And with the Hierophant in reverse, okay, this is what's pushing you to, 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 to try something new or to explore or experience something new. Okay. And that's fine. Just don't, like, if people go on date interracially, however, outside your race, that's cool. Like, rock out. But don't sit here and try to tear down a race because you know what I mean. Like, don't do that weird shit. That's weird. You want to date outside your race, cool, because we don't care, right? But if you want to start to dog the race and that, that like right there, that that's just doing too much, unnecessary. You just doing way too much. Revolution, okay? So yeah, somebody wants to date interracially, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But don't be dogging out the race because now you now you deciding to date outside the race. You know. Like, keep that shit a being. Don't be backbiting and shit. Because the way this universe is set up, you thinking you got somebody great. And I'm not putting nothing over nobody, but I'm just being realistic here. Okay? Because your words hold power. And you are going over there and you talk about, oh, they ain't this, they ain't that. And da, 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 da. Be very careful. The words that you speak is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying to you. We have celebration. Yeah, you're tired of being by yourself, solo magic, like tired of, you know, you're 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 willing to, to you're ready and willing to date and step out. And that's good. That yeah, transformation is here. Mm hmm Blueprint. Okay. You feel like this is the blueprint for you to receive more choices or options. Go for it. If that's what you want to do, definitely go for it. Alright. <laughs> it's definitely going to expand or um broaden your horizon in regards to how you see or view the world with love. I'll definitely say that. Yep, expect miracles and stability with this new love that's coming into you. Okay. Gonna have a lot of suitors, you really will. I'm talking about high level suitors, <laughs> you truly will. Yeah, act is in reverse, so take your time, don't rush nothing. Sexuality is also in reverse, so not rushing to have sex is something that's that's a big deal to you, okay? So you won't be rushing into that, you'll be taking your time, you'll see. Your lover is coming. They are coming to you. I'm going to make this short today. <laughs> we got Pisces. You could be a Pisces or your new lover could be a Pisces. Virgo. Aries. Capricorn. One more. Taurus. All right. So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time. Peace.